With her family in mind, Gabriela Tejada Rios told state lawmakers today they are the closest family living next to the sterogenics plant in Willowbrook. We feel trapped. It's easy to say, why don't you just move? But we can't. It's not an option for us. My children are being poisoned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I cannot protect them from it. Controversy surrounds sterogenics after the U.S. EPA reported a higher cancer risk from toxic air pollutions, most notably ethylene oxide. After hearing from several speakers, some lawmakers today called for action. But at the very least, we need to temporarily shut this down. This place needs to close now. I don't want to be responsible for anybody that's going to get sick. Last week, Sterogenics released a report saying all levels are below federal limits, and the company sent a letter saying it respectfully declines to testify today. It also emphasized the company has been in compliance with federal and state regulations. Industry associations back sterogenics today. You just can't slap up a new facility in a cornfield overnight. You shut this down, there's really no place to go. I believe we are setting a dangerous precedent in asking for a company to be shut down or in banning ethylene oxide when the science is still being debated. Meantime, there's political fallout and a critical question about safety, which isn't easy to answer. You have a very simple job to do. Either stuff is safe or it's not. Is it safe or is it not safe? That's not how we talk about carcinogens. We can't talk about carcinogens that way because none of them are safe at any level. We talk about acceptable risk. A risk people like Gabriela Tejada Rios do not want to accept, and they're letting the governor know as they dropped off petitions today. And the governor's office just issued this statement that says in part, Governor Rauner has called for the Sterogenics Willowbrook facility to pause operations until the U.S. EPA can bring some clarity to the health risks associated with ETO. All right, let's pivot. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.